Hello everyone, I'm here to talk a little bit about my indoor solar heater and steer you to the web page where uh, I detail a little bit more in depth how to actually make one of these things start to finish. But basically starting with a Coke can, um, you too can achieve a little bit of free heat at your house. Now if you've looked around the internet uh, looking for solar heat, you've probably seen some of the pop can designs for the outdoor solar heater. Uh, those are great, and I do intend to make one of those, but I had a situation the other day that kind of shoved me forward a little bit. The other night, it was negative 10 here. That is cold. Uh, the house was 64 to start that day. By the time I woke up the next morning, the house was down to 55. And at those kind of temperatures, it wasn't going to rebound with the furnace that was here. It was doing all it could do, and the house just wasn't going to rebound. Well, not wanting to freeze anymore that night, I decided to uh, see if there was any way I could get myself into the Insta solar heater. Well, I've been preparing uh, to make the outdoor solar thing, so I'd saved up a bunch of the cans. I'd even taken the cans and poked holes in the top, poked holes in the bottom, getting them prepared to run airflow through, glued a bunch of the cans together, and spray painted them black. So I had a bunch of the tubes already made up. But to do the outdoor solar furnace, you need to run the air out to the furnace and back into the house. Uh, that means you got to drill holes in the side of your house, so I wasn't about to do that when it was negative 10 outside. I already had a house that wasn't holding heat, drilling more holes. Did not seem like a good idea. So then I thought, okay, what can I do there? I'll do it inside the house. Um, so then I started thinking, how can I shove air through these tubes inside the house? Well. It dawned on me that I did, all I really needed was a fan and a way to steer the um, air to them, and ta-da, the shoebox was the answer. Yes, this is prototype number one. That's where I mounted the vent, that's where I cut the holes to put the tubes, and basically set the tubes in it as such, and set them in the window, I turned the fan on, and let it blow. Well, it was 55 degrees when I woke up. By the time the sun was going down that day, I didn't really get this in the window and get started till about 1.30 in the afternoon or a little after 1.30 by the time I got it all together. Um, from 1.30 till dusk, which was about 5.15 that day, I went up to 68 degrees inside the house. So I, I was thrilled. I was on to something. But I also knew that A, this wasn't as wide as my window, uh, and B, um, I should be able to support more tubes in the window. So that led me right on to prototype B, which, hey, it's a wider box. Other than that, there's, there's not much more. I can now hold six tubes instead of three tubes, and that pretty much fills up my window. So mount the fan on the side, set the uh, tubes on top there, and, uh, you know, I only have one here for the demo, but basically I think it was eight or nine uh, cans glued together that made the tube as tall as my window is. Set this in the window, set the six tubes down through, and turn the fan on and wait for the heat. At the end of Prototype 2's first day, it had bounced up into, I think we're at like a high of 24 that day, something like that. Well inside here, come 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I pulled the plug on it. It was 75 inside the house. So I knew at that point uh, I was uh, not really needing any more heat inside the house. So I just wanted to show this and uh, I've got all the instructions written up there if you want to make one yourself though you know it's a cardboard box with holes in it, a fan stuck on the side and uh, glued together pop cans. Uh, I don't know how much instruction you need for that. But I wrote them up anyhow they're on the website you can pretty much go step by step to build your own. Uh, one thing I didn't really sh talk about on the web page was if you look inside the holes, you can see some silver things in there, maybe. Uh, I was afraid that when I got this sitting in the window, my window sill's not very wide, so I was afraid by the time I put the pop cans on it, the whole thing would tumble back out. So I basically took three rolls of pennies and some duct tape and duct taped them on the inside to the front bottom edge. That makes the thing front heavy so that when I set the cans on it in the window, I don't have to worry about it rolling back out. And that's the only real tip. Everything else is on the website there. So if you're looking to do one of the solar heaters, you do the outside version, uh, which I still intend to do. I think it'll do better on overcast days. And it's got a couple of advantages that this doesn't have. Um, 
One advantage to this, I can run it as the house tracks, as the sun tracks around my house, I can move this window to window. Um, with the outdoor unit, uh, you're kind of limited uh, depending on how long you made your, your pipes running to it and from it uh, on how much, uh, just where it's located. Uh, but the advantages of the outside is where this sits perpendicular to the window, the outside unit can be tilted so that it's flat into the sun, thereby gaining a little more of the heat. And also where this is perpendicular to the window, as the sun tracks the sky, you can also go out and change the thing daily so that it's not only flat in this direction, but also staying flat and true that direction to gain the most heat from the sun. So I still plan to build one, but I'm amazed at the stellar results I've gotten out of this crazy thing. And um, if you're like me, you're, it takes you a while to get the cans all prepared and uh, glued and ready to make the unit for the outdoors. And I, this is a good thing for me. I still plan to use these cans out there, but in the meantime, I'm going to be using the indoor solar heater to uh, gain some heat. And Lord knows if I, if I keep having 75 degree days, I may give up on the outside idea just because it's one less thing to put in the yard, one less thing sitting out there, and two less holes to drill. Uh, if you live in an apartment, you live in a dorm, you're living somewhere that uh, you don't have access to a yard, uh, maybe the indoor solar heater is even more something uh, that would work for you where the outside unit cannot. So, hope it helped somebody. It sure helped me. It was a whole lot nicer sitting around inside the house that night at 70 degrees than it was uh, by that time if I hadn't have come up with some alternative heat to put in here. I'd imagine I would have probably been down to about 50 that night. So. Uh, work for me. I hope it works for you. Indoor solar heater. Go make your own. Thanks.